Hey Fossil, right, finals are coming up soon. Are you studying? No, probably not. Studying is hard, so do you need a place to start? Use these tips. Tip one, don't overstudy. Take breaks every hour that include a little bit of physical activity. Studying for too long without breaks is actually less effective than with breaks. Tip two, keep yourself motivated. This is a little hard to do and you may want to give up, but motivate yourself by thinking of the benefits if you do study. Good grades are not getting yelled at is always good motivation. Tip three, don't let studying overtake sleeping and other important things like eating. You still need to do those things, so do them. Hopefully these helped and you can get better grades. It has come to my attention that a virus has begun to spread throughout a high school in northern Colorado known as Fossil Ridge. We believe it is not contagious. There is very little research to do with this virus. Hello, Dr. Hewitt. Would you please tell us more about this disease that is spreading throughout high schools in the Midwest? Yes, well this is a tricky subject because there seems to be a correlation with busy work and this disease. Hmm. Can you please elaborate what busy work is exactly? Of course. Uh, it's a certain type of work that kids feel is pointless and that is not contributing to their learning. Well, some of the effects of this disease are not willing or being able uh, to do this busy work. Uh, the patients will have no motivation to do anything, such as simple tasks, and this disease has no cure, and the source of this disease is also unknown. Thank you for your time, and this helps my investigation immensely. Of course. Good luck. Our second patient goes by the name of Carson Walls. Again, thank you for meeting with us today. So. How do you feel like you contracted this virus? I need to get out of here! I need to get out of here! Ah! Make your checkout go faster. Wrap your cord properly. I'll demonstrate now. This is the finished product. Make sure the barcode is visible. The second thing to remember is to remove all stickers from your laptops, which shouldn't be on your laptops. <laughs> the last thing to remember is that it's important to back up your files because all the computers will be re-imaged during the summer. There are six ways to back up your files. Your school ID drive, an external hard drive, a USB flash drive, Google Drive, your own personal Gmail account, or you can create a new Google account. Questions, come see me during lunch in the IT room and I'll help you out. See you then, dog. What is your position here at Fossil Ridge? So I'm the head custodian. You know, I'm pretty, uh, pretty much in, pretty much in charge of, um, you know, the cleaning part, you know, the building, and then the maintenance. I am the front office secretary for Fossil Ridge High School. What are some of your favorite experiences here at Fossil Ridge? My favorite experience here at Fossil Ridge um, definitely is when I work the after prom. You know, it's so fun, you know, seeing all these kids, you know, dress up for, you know, oh, really so nice. What is your favorite thing about your position? Um, like you said, I'm a people person. I get to um, touch base with all the students that come in. I get to talk with all the teachers, I get to watch kids grow for the next four years from ninth grade to 12 and it's amazing to see the growth that they experience in that time. Uh, what does Appreciation Week mean most to you? Uh, it, 
means a lot because I mean that shows that everyone cares about every single staff member that works at Paso. Uh, even uh, classified, certified, you know, we all the same. So I mean, that means a lot because it uh, means that you guys care about us. What's something important that you feel like is for something for students to know whilst they're growing up? Um, that they always have a safe place here at Fossil Ridge if they need someone to talk to, that um, the staff here is more than happy to talk with them. Golf cart used to be called School Grounds. This year we decided to change it to Cup of Joe. Joe Allen, who was the teacher here before me that ran the coffee cart in the ACE program, uh, passed away over the summer. And so one of the things that a student and his father came up with was that we should rename our coffee cart Cup of Joe in honor of him and it makes sense with coffee. So on Mondays, uh, we can sell the students from 10 to 11.44 and Tuesday through Friday, we can go 10 to 11.59 and then after about 1.45, then students can come in and buy coffee. We have lattes, mochas, cappuccinos, um, we're starting to play around with our blended drinks. Ice drinks are very popular. And if you have a certain drink that you like and we don't know how to do it, you can either teach us how to do it or we can look it up and try to figure it out also. His film was Jack. And why did you make Jack? Um, I made Jack because I wanted to tell a story that was kind of personal and kind of uh, more organic than films I've made in the past. Um, and it's just like a snapshot of a night. It's not this really like sweeping film with like uh, lots of set pieces or anything. It's just kind of a simple, contained story. Um, and that was really appealing to me. So that's uh, the base reason of why I made Jack. Uh, thank you. It would, like another day of the weekend, I wrote and directed it. Like I was finally just so proud of something, especially since nothing that I made last year got into FOSS. It was just like, it was so cool to finally have something like a mind show on the big screen, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. It was a really good music video. Thank you so much. Right. <laughs> this is the winner of Best Film. Her film was Mad Women. And why did you make Mad Women? Um, well, I've always had a really big interest in research and history, and so my mom buys me books all the time about amazing women um, from throughout um, history. And when I came across Nellie's story, I really connected with it as someone who wants to take my art a little bit further and advocate for people who are often marginalized or um, people who suffer from mental illness or um, you know are marginalized because of their class or race. And I think that it's important for our, our media to speak volumes about um, our own um, ideologies and make the world a better place. Um, and so I was inspired by her and I feel like I stand on the shoulders of other women like her who make it possible um, for people like me to go into media and I feel indebted to her incredible hard work and strength. Back then, Colorado was full of forests and grasslands, but was dominated by mammals. During the Pleistocene, wild horses, camels, bison, and mammoths would roam the landscape, but Colorado was also dominated by carnivores such as saber-toothed tigers, or smilodons for short. But there's one saber that stood out from the rest, and his name is Fang. The Smilodon was a big predator as it was 2.2 meters long and 1.1 meters tall. It could run up to 30 miles per hour. This cat also has really big canine-like teeth that were about the size of bananas. With Fang and the rest of his pack, they were the ultimate predators of the Pleistocene era. But around 12,000 years ago, temperatures started to drop and would slowly lead to the Ice Age. During that time, humans started hunting most of the animals for their hides and tusks. The dropping temperatures and hunters formed a synergistic negative force, causing the Smilodons and other mammals to go extinct. As time went on, we evolved into the humans we are today. But just like the creatures that roamed here had to evolve or become extinct, we seniors have to evolve from high school students into something else. When the Smilodons and creatures that roamed here in northern Colorado passed, they were gone forever. 
When we graduate from high school, we no longer roam the halls, but other generations continue to learn and grow. As we graduate, other students come in and take our places, and we go on with our lives as we look back to when the class of 2019 roamed Fossil Ridge. <laughs>